Yeah, it was probably worth it alone. Uh, how are our wounds looking right now? Minus melee, de melee defense. It's not that big a deal. We'll leave the double uh, guys on. Do we get level ups anywhere? Still got that unassigned level up. So we learned that anticipation isn't really going to help us with what we're trying to do here because the misses are going to screw us on that. Uh, crippling strikes we're against right now because of reasons. There was some suggestion for... I, I like Overwhelm on a sniper. So I think I'm going to take that. And then there was a question about either Nimble or Headhunter. Or something entirely different. I don't mind the idea of fearsome either. Footwork gets me out of a pinch, it's true. Footwork does. This has been useless, I wish I hadn't taken it. I'm pretty sure this has been useless. Kinda wish I hadn't taken it. That's been good. Fearsome strictly ranged? No. Gifted for more stamina as an option. I don't know about that next one yet. 37 fucking tools. Man of Renowned. Alright. What do we got over here? I'm not buying at a very good price. No tools. What kind of backwater shithole is this? I'll leave it immediately. Twenty crowns and ninety when the job's done. I accept your offer. Not checking troops. What's the matter with them? Are they ill? Oh, our uh, beer dog leveled up. Okay, fine. Um, also, we need to make sure his gear gets repaired. Took some pretty heavy hits. Uh, Alright. Accuracy. Melee defense. Stamina. Uh, I want to go fearsome again, I think. New hires. Oh, yeah, I should have checked that. Thanks. Map is not fully explored. What am I being graded? Uh, so, yeah, I'm Billy. I, mean, I really do like the idea of this on a spear wall. Let's run with it. We're far enough out, we can go back. Yeah, we are. Okay. Let's take a look at the hires. Junk, 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 junk. Oh, what's this guy? Militia junk. Okay. Kind of want to take this fight while we're here. You get there before night. As everyone's wounding. This was some legionaries earlier in the game. I was avoiding. We can't get there before night. All right. So we don't want the sniper on that, particularly. We want both the two-handers, we want them in the front, something like this again. We want axes for killing shields. We want massive amounts of armor. You know what? What are you knowing about? Workshops for cheaper tools. I'm gonna try the two-handed axe. I don't know about that, man. Let's not go overboard. Legionaries, yeah, they're scary, man. They're scary. We gotta get better at fighting them, though. They're gonna be part of this undead crisis all the time. What do you think? Minus 70% melee defense? He's got two. 
So we lose 70% of that. It's a big hit. Health, though, is a little bit low. Aqua is at least a full health. Minus fatigue. Minus melee defense. I think we can put Aqua in. At least he's got an axe. Okay. Do I have the, belt, the ability? I have fucking four axes with two high axe specs. Give me a break, man. Without the ability to deal with shields. You think point blanking them with fucking the axe is a better solution? I don't know about that. It does only take one round, I'll give you that, but what's his defense at? All legionaries have shield expert. So you still can't one shot them then with this then. Even with the shield expert on this it wouldn't work, right? Or would it? So how much health does their shields have exactly? Because we were considering making this guy a two-handed axe specialist. He's got two perks saved up. We can get reach advantage. We could have another one of these. The problem is, unlike... I mean, this one makes sense to me. These things make sense to me, the great swords. I'm not so sure... I mean, the axe spec I can use in the back rank still. Kate Heater Shield is 24, so it has 36 with their stuff. What is the actual damage coming out of this? This is doing 24. If I take Axe Specs, this does 36 too, man. So we don't need the special weapon. We have Axe Spec, guys. We can do it from the back rank. Alright. I'm going to let chat discuss that for a moment in case you guys have some information that contrasts that. I'm going to have a pee and I'll be right back. All right, let's see what chat's come up with. Okay, let's again, let's work through these numbers again together here. So the first number I've been given is the decayed heater shield has 24 health. That means with shield specialist, it has 36 health, right? So if we can do 36 damage to a shield, we one shot it. Well, the great axe does 24 damage. With axe specialist, it does 36 damage. What's the problem? That's not how it works. How does it work? Shield damage received is reduced by 50%. It's 48 health if I do it that way. Not more durability, it's half damage. Ah, that's the number I'm missing. Okay. So in that case, we're doing 48, we're doing 36 damage, and half 36 damage is 18, so it's not enough to one shot it. I see. I see. So you guys are arguing for the this thing. Eighteen. Price at eighteen. 
Half of 36 is 18. Math on stream. We got it. We did it. We're going to retire. We one up chat. On math on stream. Uh, I think is I don't really think X specialist is very good otherwise. Well, the other thing is, what does a handheld axe do? So it's doing eight. And what's the other one gonna do? 12, it's 20, it's not enough. But if it's an axe specialist plus a handheld axe, that will do it, right? Because that will be, uh, Aqua's axe does 36. 36 and 8 is 42, right? Or rather, 36 and... Where the fuck? Where's the hammer? The axe, hatchet. 36 and 16. Halved. So 36 and 16 is 46 is 52 is 26. That would do it. We should be able to do it with the hand axe and... A, uh... A big axe and a hand axe ought to do it. It's still two actions, but it's only kind of kind of one and a half actions really. Could run that. No. Doesn't need axe expert. Talking about one hit from the big one, one hit from the little one. Just trying to think what this looks like. This is legionaries again. The big problem I have with this thing is it's not a two handed it does not have two range and it doesn't do things good at one range it just has one range so yeah okay we'll kill some axes we'll kill some shields but whoop de fucking do i mean it might one shot legionaries though it has big damage it's not bigger damage than these numbers but it's much more uh distributed 35 percent ignores armor versus 40 percent ignores armor and 183 against armor Two hits from an ex from little ex expert will do it too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the thing is to check that out. Oh, I have to commit to an ax specialist, or put someone who's not an ax specialist on the front line. When it says it hits both head and chest, does it do full damage to both? I've still not seen anything confirmed. I guess we'll try it. I mean, fuck it. We said we said this character, said part of this playthrough is trying stuff. Let's try it. Let's try this great axe. All right, fleet. Don't want reach advantage on this, though, I don't think. It's never going to hit more than one fucking target with this thing, ever. What I really want is Battle Forged. Quick hands for two handed axe switching. Could be sexy. And I really like the idea of bags and belts on this guy. With quick hands. And then he just like, he's like, bam, shield, bam, two-handed axe, bam, two-handed hammer. And everyone's just so fucking confused. They're like, what is he doing all the time over there and why won't he stop? Alright, but we can't do it now is the problem, because he needs both quick hands and, uh, and bags and belts for that. So we could just take neither, I suppose. I suppose... Someone pulls an expo to shoot past the shield. Yeah, yeah, go on. But I just don't think this is going to help us, because I don't think, unlike the sword, which can regularly hit two, this is not going to hit two. So it's going to hit 1, and 20% of fucking 
tw uh, 22 here. What's it? What's a you know a fifth of a fifth of 20 is four, so we're getting eight out of that on 20, or excuse me, four out of that on one hit. Like it's not very much. All those things give fatigue penalty though. No, they don't. That's the whole point of bags and belts. They don't give fatigue penalty. Have an AOE of every target around him. Yeah, it's all my allies we're talking about. I wasn't thinking. No, I wasn't thinking underdog would be your useful. I was thinking perhaps footwork would be useful. Because you might be able to move deeper into enemy territory at the end of a turn using footwork. I don't know if footwork works that way. I don't know if I've ever used the skill. It says moving out of a zone of control, but does it just mean can I move deeper into zone of control? But I do love the versatility of Baymo 2 can move deeper in. I really like the versatility of Baymo to switch between a long axe and a two-handed axe. That seems like that would actually be really sick. Do I not like swap? It's all right. It's not anything special, really. I just can't imagine ever getting AOE, AOE on this. I mean, I think I'm going to save it and I'm going to go bags and belts plus uh, quick hands later. And then we'll pick up Berserk and uh, Killing Frenzy and see how it goes. So... Yeah. Well, I, I could pick up bags and belts now, Kex, and then uh, actually bring both the long axe and the other one into the combat so if I'm like holy shit this weapon sucks I can switch to long axe it will take me half a turn to do it but it'll still be okay also we've been leveling, leveling melee defense and I'm not sure we should be in this character but whatever so let's grab it now we haven't we haven't played around with bags and belts before let's do it whole point is learning shit right oh my god all the inventory space there's so much inventory let's give him another axe Man comes fucking armed to the teeth. He's got five axes on him. Why not? Why not? Alright. Where'd my dagger go? We could run the, the war scythe too, but... Get my hand axe. No, not, not this fight. Give him a stupid amount of axes. I thought I was giving him a stupid... Anyways, okay. Speaking of, we need heater shields and everybody for this fight. Okay. Warside is awesome. This might be a good fight for a Warside, maybe. I don't actually want much care for it right now. It seems clunky to use. Uh, all right, we're gonna run. We're not running swords in this. We're running axes in in the. Axes and something else. Well, you can keep yours. I feel like we need more things in here. have that inventory but we can't use it weird did he could have a crossbow then too don't hunt legendary items ah bro he has so much to learn so much I just hunt hats it's the point of this game uh, all right so what do we have spears 
I don't really like Aqua. Oh, Aqua's okay. Aqua's in. He's just low initiative for this fight. So we're we running hammer specs here. Where are my fucking war brands? War hammers, <laughs> rather. I, w I built these expecting them to be super helpful, and we haven't fought an orc yet. I think no, that's not true. We fought one orc. We fought a lot of orc young. We fought and some berserkers. We've only fought one fucking orc. All right, this guy is disgusting amount of uh, stamina. I'm gonna give him a fighting axe. Uh, Billy has no stamina. You have One. returned. He's not that far off. Oh, but he's wearing junk armor. He's that far off. It's pretty junk. Okay, we're gonna give Billy. We're gonna give Billy this one. This one has good armor piercing. The magic spear is good armor piercing. It's forty percent, which is pretty fucking good. It's as good as a hammer. Okay. Welcome back, uh, Rensvind. Too much for the resub. Okay. All right. So we got. Lots of weapons that do damage to undead. Oop! This guy doesn't have a weapon yet. He's confused and concerned that he's been forgotten. He's like, ah, oh, do I get a weapon, guys? Do I need a weapon too? We're not sure we're giving him one though. Give him the war scythe. Should we equip the war scythe for this? I don't know. Give him the magic sword. Doesn't have good armor pen though. Give him a mace, he'll never be able to swing it ever again. All right, 63 stamina. I think he's mostly here to be a meat shield. All right, give him a noble sword. He can actually swing it a couple times. Okay. All right, so do we have everything else sorted out now? We've got to decide if we want to use the war scythe or not. I feel like the axes let me have a lot of uh, versatility in terms of smashing things. I could run the war scythe here. The problem is he can't switch weapons for free. This is just mostly trolling. Uh, all right. Okay, how's our armor looking? Not at 210. 210. 210. 210. 210, 200, 130 on Billy, 210 over here. Uh, yeah, Kex about that. What's our health pool like? 85, 100. How is that not fucking repaired? It's only at 87. This is the problem right here. This is only at 173. I think it's still better than what we're thinking about running here. What are you doing on Kate? It's Kate up to these days. She does not have... I wonder if footwork would be better to take on these tanks than rotation. I guess we can't save someone with that. Alright. Literally the shirt off her back for you Kex. Better fucking be remembering this. Maybe War Scythe and the Banner Guy. Problem is, if you put the banner away, you don't get the fatigue, the, the thing. And there is a passive on this. So, I don't really think we can do that. Like, the banner's what you attack with. Otherwise, I would in a heartbeat drop it for something else. Although, I am wondering about the Bannerman's helmet. Is it time to update his helmet? We have lots of fancier helmets in this. I mean, honestly, we're not looking to be a sniper this round. 200. Banner's low damage. It's fairly low damage. It's like pike level damage, 50 to 70. It's not that I wouldn't like better damage. Alright. 
Do I expect as well? It's not. It's my only non expect one. Okay, that's enough pouncing around. Let's get a fight. of ancient auxiliaries and a few necro savants necro savants like the little teleporting shitters fuck those guys i hate those guys I hate them a lot 